They told me I was too young. They told me I needed more training. Huh? I told them to drop dead. Oh. How ironic. I don't know how I survived that fall. Something strange must have happened. My pulse is beating like a drum, but my blood is running cold. I'm not sure what's going on, but I came here with a question. And I'm gonna find the answer if it kills me. Welcome everybody, this is Nightsaber Z42, and this is Crypt of the Necrodancer. Uh, I have been with this game ever since it was available on day one of Steam. And as you can tell, it is still in alpha. But it is getting a lot of great support and mods and all that stuff. And I played it way back, I think it was in... Actually, I cannot remember when it first came out. I don't think it was a year ago. That seems kind of too long. But I've kind of been playing it and then I kind of dropped out of playing it and as you can see I still need to along zone number three and zone number four and all that there's daily challenges hardcore mode if you have a dance pad you can use a dance pad and then there's hardcore mode with with a seed and the reason why I'm playing this on the channel is because uh, somebody I was talking about this game with somebody and it was really hard for this person to comprehend just what the heck I was talking about so here I am playing Crypt of the Necrodancer. And, you know, it's been a long time since I played the game, so I might as well come up and play. Uh, there's been lots of updates since I've last played it, so I am really looking forward to just starting. And as you can see at the bottom, there's your heart beating, you're moving to the beat of the song. If you move too much, or you try to move too much, then you miss it. And. Hmm, no. Actually, I could just uh, lock that here. But actually, you know what? I will probably end up doing quick movement in the lobby. Did that not happen? That should have happened. No quick movement? Aww. I have five hearts. Which I believe you only start with two in hardcore mode, or the seed mode, or the daily challenge. But, what I want to do, I want to start over from the very beginning. I'm going to do zone one, and progress further, and see if I can try and get zone three unlocked, and then zone four. I don't think I have any other characters. Oh, totally not what I wanted to do. Um, I don't think I have any other characters unlocked. No. Well, I got a bar. Huh. That's interesting. What does the monk do? Ooh. Okay, you know what? This run will be Cadence. Next run, we'll do Monk. Let's do Zone 1. It's gonna be really hard for me to do this while doing a commentary. Awesome, got the spear. Spear attacks two squares away. Oh, there was my multiplier. There's so many cool things good about this game. And, oh, love it. And. The number one thing is definitely the music and this part. If you can hear him, he's right behind the door. That is a shop guy. He sings along. Which is so awesome. As you go away, he'll kind of dim down a little bit. Ah, uh, that's a poor mistake on my part. There we go. 20 coins. Oh, I do have 40 coins. Let's buy that shovel. And the shovel allows us to 
dig in other places. I do have a bomb. Wait, this bomb. There you go. Up and down. Which you'll get gold if you do that. Just a little trick. There's three bombs right there. Lucky for me. I could go around and do all corners of that room, but I'm wasting time right now because eventually the music will end, and if the music ends, then you drop down without killing the boss and all that. And I think there's a penalty. Sure, there's a penalty. It would seem like there would be a penalty. Boom. Those switches up there, they can either speed up or slow the music down. Which could be good or bad in any case. Oh, the torch illuminates a greater radius for you to see, even through walls. Like, right here, there's an item. Chest. Shield scroll. How about that? We might use that up against the boss. Die, monkey. There's the way down, so I guess there's no boss. Yeah. The bars have already started turning red, meaning that the end of the level is at hand. And the tempo does pick up progressively throughout the game. So that's always something to be aware of, that the tempo never stays the same from level to level. Okay, I see gold right along here, so that means the shop guy is going to be somewhere along here. Freeze enemy spell, up and right. Mm. I'll probably end up using that on the boss, to be honest. Okay, that's the ghost guy. Diamonds are used to buy special upgrades, which I will want because I'm going to be unlocking all the areas. Ooh, I want this. <laughs> Map? Awesome! I didn't even know that was a thing in the game. Way, thanks. Click, go. Boom. The broadsword, like the spear, does a greater area to hit, except instead of going straight out, it's the armor. It's up and down, not straight out like you would a spear. Ring of Charisma. I do not know what all these items do, and I didn't know about that chest giving you three items and that you would just have one. Monkey, get off my back. There's a red guy right there. So. Okay, the boss has got to be somewhere around here. There he is. Go. Don't need to freeze this area. So this whole game is about getting your multiplier up so when you kill things, you get more gold. Which you can use to buy stuff. And I think gold is also translated into your score. So that's always something to keep in mind. I see something going right here. Yeah, time. Okay, we're red, so we're going down. Thorn? Oh, what? What was that? Why did I get hit? There was nothing even there. That guy loses his head, then runs away. Just like that. Yellow guy. I don't want to. Well. Okay, I guess I will bomb. I don't know what the shoes do, and I don't know what this key- Golden key! Huh. So instead of jumping, I fly? Is that- Is that it? Hmm. Get that. Transmogify one of my items. Let's do our feet. Got arena slippers. I have no idea what that is. 
Um, Ring of Peace. I have no idea what any of these do. Oh, got the drumstick, which I will use. Up and left. Yeah, HP. We're gonna last quite a while. Die. Oh. Okay, so we need the golden key to unlock this person. See you in the lobby. Awesome. Die, monkey. Oh, so that was a trap. Oh, this guy's huge. Look at that. Die, bat. Okay, we're still good on time. Boss right here, Minotaur. Monkey! Don't screw with me! Oh my gosh. Monkey! Okay, we can go down to the next floor, but I want to get some more points. All that, and explore. Maybe there might be a diamond in the ground. Okay, never mind. We don't have enough time. Ugh. We're only at one and a half hearts. Oh, here's the boss for the level. Oh, what was that? Oh, do we get hit every time we take that thorn? Oh, snap. Now we have to watch. Okay. Sometimes we can move, sometimes we can't. Freeze. Oh, and I died. Oh, that was an interesting battle. Oh my gosh, I totally like that boss. Oh, look at the monkey. He's got the bongos on the side like Donkey Kong. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Oh, I should have froze the enemies. Oh, but I got four diamonds anyway, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to return to the lobby before I do my whole spiel. And we're going to buy something with the diamonds. So, upgrades... We only have four, so let's do this chest. One black chest per run, so that seems like a good trade. All right, that's good. So thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of the Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Uh, look for my other videos that have come out today. I plan to release some more, or they should have already been released today. But you can check out my playlist, which will be at the end of this video in the annotations, as well as some of the other videos that I also do in the annotations as well. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.